Hey guys, welcome back to another Swift tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be talking about Z index, um, what it is in Xcode or Swift, and how to use it. So I'm just going to call this Z index like this. And basically, the Z index is just how you um, the so if you think about X and Y um, moving sideways. Let me just bring something in. So. For my example, I'm going to have some interviews just to demonstrate this. Uh, let me just drag in two interviews and we'll make one of them uh, red. Oh, that's not red. Uh, red, and we'll make the other one green. Alright, so now if you think about it, the x value is moving side to side like this, y is up and down, and z is just moving front and back. So uh, if you. If this was a 3D, uh, let me. I don't. I forgot how to bring up the view hierarchy, um, but I know it's in here somewhere. Uh, is it this or no? I don't think this is in it. But I know if I could bring up the view hierarchy, I'd show you guys what I meant. But basically, the Z index is just um, moving front and back on the view. So well, how you use this is, you see, if I drag this. Uh, right now, this green green imagery is in front of this red imagery, and I'll just link them both up so they have names. So let's just call this red image view, and let's call this green image view. Okay, and we'll give it some constraints. So for this one, we'll just give it these constraints, and for this one, we'll just give it these constraints. And I know these aren't these are definitely not good ways of adding constraints, but it's just a simple way. Um just so I can show you guys. So right now if I run this we should end up getting the green image view there and the red image view there. So we'll see. And we'll just wait for this to load in. Okay, so you can see it's a bit weird because actually I do want it to have. Um, okay, maybe if I just because I do want you to be able to see the overlap. So what I'm going to do is just add height constraints on both of these. So we'll just add 128 height and 128 height like that. So hopefully now they overlap and you can see that the green one is actually on top of the red one. And yeah, but oh, that's weird. Why is it like that? That's very weird. Um, okay, well, uh, it doesn't matter. So now you can see the red one is unexpectedly on top of a green one. But this is where um, Z index comes comes in. So if we go to the view, did layout subviews, and then we in this because every time you want to affect change the UI, you have to do it in this did layout subviews. And uh, now if we just change our green images. Um, Z index, so have to do dot layer dot Z index, and I think that's how we do it. And we can just set that to one. Let's see. Oh. I think it's dot Z position. All oh, right, okay. So once you have dot Z position, if you just change this to one, so if you think about it, um, the layer dot Z position now. The Z position works in the same way as X and Y, so the closer you get to zero, the center it is. And by default, all of items actually have zero. If you do below zero, it's going to go behind the items, and if you do more than zero, it's going to go above the items. So when we set the green imagery dot Z position to one, we're effectively tend to go above all the items with Z position zero, and that's what happens here. So if you want the red one to go on top again now, we can do red imagery dot layer does that position is equal to two and that will just make it go above and it really doesn't matter like how much more it just needs to be more so I can even do one dot zero zero two like this and it will even it will still go above because it's still more than the green one but yeah so basically the Z position is if you think about it on a 3D graph you just have the X Y and Z and you're moving it front and back dependent on however they are so yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, let me just see if I can bring the hierarchy. Okay, there's a view hierarchy. So, 
Uh, okay. So yeah, you can see the Z position. This, uh, if you move it sideways like this, you can see that there's a gap between them. And this is actually the Z position. When you change this, it actually moves forwards and back like this. So yeah, thanks for watching, and that was how you use Z position in Swift.